<laughs> Matt, what's the uh, excitement of the guys headed this weekend? Uh, you know, we're ready to go. I mean, this, this team's a really tight knit group, and uh, there's good energy about this team. And uh, I think we're just we're ready to go. We're ready to go to war with each other. Very selfish team. Kind of, kind of a whole new group this year. Is that kind of what the theme is headed in? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of newcomers. So, but we've we've gelled together quickly, and uh, you know we're just ready to go. New conference. Also, what are your thoughts on playing in the American this year? I mean, I think it's a good move for us as a as a player's viewpoint. It's pretty exciting. You know, play some new teams, go to some new ballparks. So uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to take on the challenge. Are you looking forward to playing any team in particular this year in the new conference? Uh, not any team particular, but uh, I think it'll be nice to match up with some of those teams that you know have a high high ranking or you know something like that. Matt, you're someone that coming in as a freshman, you as a staple in the line the whole time. Now you're moving to third base, but you still got that veteran presence. What are you taught some of the younger guys coming in on how to handle expectations, how to handle the stress, and how to approach Division One baseball? I mean, the main thing is, you know, the coaches have our best interest. I think that's the main thing for guys coming in. And you just trust our coaches because they, they know a lot. They have a lot of experience. They develop players, and they've shown that. And so I think that's a big thing that players need to, you know, recognize. What are some things you think will translate from, from third base, moving over from shortstop, and what are some things you think will be a little different and newer to adjust to? Uh, I mean, I played third base a little bit. Before I got to college, when I was in high school, but uh, I think you know playing shortstop the past two years and most of my life, you know, I should be able to play any infield spot, you know. So, uh, you know, but the coaches know I'm just ready to go out there. I'll play any position, you know. I'm just ready to go out there and win, and you know that's really. It. And it seems like, you know, on the field at least, you like to play with a little swagger sometimes, a little confidence. How does that help you on the field, and how does that kind of help you get ready for the games? I mean, at the end of the day, you got to have confidence. You know, you got to be able to believe in yourself. You gotta, that's the best way to – for me, that's the best way I perform. Just be confident, you know, go out there and do my thing. Matt, do you, do you recall a couple of years ago how you felt about this time? You were trying to win a job. You were trying to work in the field out and start a job. That feeling of being told you're in there, and just kind of how have you developed from from there? Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely a surreal feeling, you know, playing as a freshman. You know, it's kind of what you dream of, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just going out there, you got to work hard. You know, but now I feel like it's a little less stress on me. Just being older, being a veteran player, I kind of know the runaway, and like how things work. So you know, it's a lot easier on me now. So, you know, it's kind of it is a weird feeling being an upperclassman now because I mean I can remember freshman year like yesterday. You know, I can remember all those highs and lows and you know all the battles I had to go through. So it's definitely a weird feeling, but you know, it, feels, it feels great to be at this point. What's your action now being a piece of stone perfect guy? Where can you get that action? Uh, you know it means a lot. Uh, you know, I'm grateful for the recommendation or the nomination, or whatever they call it, but. Uh, yeah, it means a lot. I'm excited. You know, a little extra motivation towards the season. So, yeah, I just use that to fuel the fire. So many new pieces around you. How do you find it? Uh, I think we can reach any goal we set. I think as a team, we work together. We're self-esteem. So, I think we feed off each other's energy. And, uh, you know, any goal we set, I think it's very attainable. What are the expectations for this team this year? conference championship NCAA tournament I mean what else that's kind of what we're always looking for especially these past few years trying to build off of that we definitely want to get in that tournament and play some postseason baseball Does anybody who's caught your eye any of the newcomers you think to stand out and have a good season uh yeah there's a lot of newcomers actually uh you know Rob the freshman pitcher I, I have a lot of high expectations for him he's one of my one of my favorite pitchers on this team I like watching him pitch he pounds his own. He throws hard. A lot of command as a freshman. I, I like it a lot. And, uh, you know, Lytle in the outfield, he's a big key. He's really fast. Play center field for us, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, I, mean, I can go on and on about all the new players that we have, but you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I feel defense seems to be pretty good. Yeah. Right? You do that. Yeah. Too. Right? yeah. yeah. I, would, 
say this is a very athletic outfield we have. Like we have depth, whether it's starters or the guys coming off the bench. I think they're all athletic. They all make some plays, all play defense. So uh, yeah, the outfield defense is not something you have to worry about. I think the hitting is gonna come on. I think the hitting would definitely should definitely come on. Uh, every year we have a pretty good track record of hitting. I mean, even our coaches record prior to uh, GTSA. So. I think it's definitely the hitting itself for sure. Coach Holmes and a couple of your teammates have talked about the way last season ended. What was that like for you? How did that feel and how does that impact the way you go into the new year? Uh, you know, it definitely hurts. You know, that piece of, you know, esteem. You know, going into the next season, you definitely want to, you know, do better than the previous year. So, yeah, we're definitely uh, working towards getting to that tournament. You know, that's one of our goals for sure every year. And uh, we definitely want to make that happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Riga, you kind of took uh, took Roadrunner Nation by storm last year, coming in as a freshman. Uh, big strikeout ratio, very low opponent batting average. What are you looking forward to uh, as in your sophomore campaign, and what type of role do you see yourself stepping into well, now that you're kind of a veteran? Whatever, whatever coach needs me to do, I'll do. Um, hoping to keep the ball rolling off of what I did last year. Um, spin rate and all those other metrics have gone up too. I've heard, and then you know the tick and velo. So I'm just hoping to continue what I did last year, if not improve, maybe strike a few more batters than I did, get a few more innings in. Looking forward to it. You and some other UTSA runners, road runners, had a pretty successful summer. You played with the Seguin River Monsters, where you guys won the TCL championship. How how important is is the summer and, and getting the t the opportunity to play? And what are some things you take away from opportunities like that? Right for me, it was definitely getting reps. And as in last year, I didn't really throw anything besides a fastball. So in Seguin, I was able to work on my secondary pitches and. <clears throat> perfect that and then you know winning the championship out there it's it's a mental boost for sure you know winning is always fun you know whenever you get to win it all it's a really special feeling last year you guys came up short in the conference tournament but this year you're in a new conference what can you all take from last year and, and build on for this year no oh, it hurt um you know going so far as to be in a nationally ranked team mm -hmm. and you know having a lot of people behind us just for it to Fall at the end it hurt a lot, but we, you know, we're taking it from last year that every game this year matters, every single game, midweek. Even if we're 2-0 on the weekend, Sundays matter. We got to win Sunday. And, yeah, I mean, we just want to win every single point that we can and hopefully get the, either the regular season championship or we win it in the tournament. It's the goal. How close do you think this program is to playing in the late May and June, taking that kind of that next tier step? We're definitely going in the right direction. Uh, this year, our team is very depthy, both on the mound, offensively, defensively. I think we have a really good team. And there's a lot of great talent with this program compared to last year. You know, we only had so many guys that could go, and then injuries last year that riddled us and couldn't play our best players. But this year, there's, you know, guys that will step up and hopefully – do what we should have done last year. Do you set specific goals? What can this team accomplish? What are you guys in for? <clears throat> well, I mean, the big picture is to go to Omaha, but you know, you have to, you can't look too far. You got to see the smaller steps, such as you know, winning conference, which is you know how you get to Omaha, and then winning enough games to make it regional or win conference, and you know, little stuff like that. What about when uh, you know, you're in the starting rotation? How do you feel about? Very excited, very excited. It's a different role from last year, you know, coming, relieving almost every game that I did pitching. Uh, starting is definitely, it's exciting. But I'm uh, thrilled to see how it goes and can't wait for this weekend to see what I do. What are the biggest things you have to maybe adjust or do differently to be ready for that challenge? Um, well, as a starter, you know, it's known upon that you throw more innings than you do as a reliever. They want you to you know, go out there and eat up as many innings as you can compared to relievers, but it's, you know, two to three outings in each role. So hopefully the stamina is there and I can go as many as I can this week and also on. What's your scouting report on yourself? How would you describe yourself to others? Um, fastball heavy. Uh, most of the time it's going to be a fastball up, either for strike or chase. Uh, got off speeds now that I trust, so I'll probably throw that in the mix too. Uh, low mid-90s fastball. Just here for the fastball. That's what I'm going to come at you with. And, yeah. What's it been like in practice settings lately with guys fighting for vacation spots and even guys in the field fighting for spots in the lineup? Oh, I mean, you can see there's competition everywhere. Um, this guy's trying to, you know, 
outmatch each other with their best of all talent. And it's fun to watch, even as a pitcher, you know, these, these new guys over here, they, they give us a hard time. It's hard to, you know, be successful against them. But on the other hand, it's also, you know, like seeing these new pitchers out of here too, having success is also very exciting to see. Just it's insane how much time we have this year compared to last year. Yeah, for Rob Woloski in particular, what comes out about him? And what you're oh, I'm, I'm very excited for him. Uh, I mean, as a freshman, you know, getting that role to start Friday night is uh, pretty big. Uh, he showcased his stuff in the fall. He had a really powerful fastball and a terrific off speed. Very excited to see what he does. Did he seem comfortable right away? Or what was it oh, like yeah, no, he, he fit right in. Uh, he's a very level-headed kid, so he didn't really let pressure get to him. I mean, it was just like a, eh, so what? You know, this is what happens. Well, Isaiah, I guess starting off, you know, obviously last year, unfortunately, missed most of the second half of the season due to the hamstring injury. How's the hamstring feel? And notice you put a lot of work in over the offseason. And how do, how do you feel going into this uh, next season? Uh, I feel healthy and ready to go. Excited for what the season has to come. So, uh, yeah, been working hard this offseason to get back and be better than ever. So that's what uh, looking forward to this year. Being a utility guy, do you have a, uh, a position that you maybe favor a little more than the others? Or are you kind of like playing that one a little more? Uh, I I like being the utility. I like having that uniqueness of being able to play wherever coach needs me to play. But uh, I'll say any of the middle positions, center, second, short, that's uh, what I played growing up. So uh, that definitely has a soft spot in my heart. What are your thoughts on being entering this new conference this year with some new teams to face? Yeah, it's definitely uh, exciting to have some uh, new opponents that we're facing and get to travel to new places, have some people come and visit the bird bath. But uh, we also have a lot of familiar faces that we're playing with Rice and uh, FAU. So should be excited to have that mix of new and uh, familiar familiar faces. The program has been... Was it? When you were when you were a kid, you were just trying to figure out what sport to play. I take it you probably played a lot. What was it about baseball that drew you to this ultimately? Uh, I mean, baseball is just different than, than all of them. So in baseball, if you go three for ten, then you consider great. So in every other sport, if you shoot three for ten in basketball, that's a pretty average to below average game. But baseball, it's a uh, it's more mental. You gotta be mentally stronger to play baseball versus other sports. I feel like no disrespect to them, obviously, but uh, right. there's more failure involved, and um, that's always a challenge. So I guess you say I might like the challenge. Man. Do you did, did you always embrace that challenge, or was it ever intimidating? Uh, of course, you always face some intimidations. Like uh, nobody likes to fail, so there were definitely hard days growing up. Whenever you weren't very successful, but. That just makes when you are successful even more uh, gratifying. So. Who was a guy when you were just learning the game that you watched in the big leagues that you said, I want to be that guy? Um, I would say more recently it's been Trey Turner. Trey Turner, uh, just the, his speed dynamic. And when he first came up in the big leagues, he, he was playing in the outfield. And then he made the transition into the infield. So I see a lot of similarities in, in uh, our games. And he was here for a year with the, with the mission. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So, Lots uh, of uh, roster turnover, mm -hmm. but the program's been trending up. Yeah. What, what would you say the expectations need to be this year? Uh, I think expectations just to build off of what we've been doing. Um, we might have new people coming in, but we still have the same uh, standards. and uh, We're trying to build a culture of winning and, and continue to sustain it. So uh, just building off of what we've done the past two years, what those seniors did from Tapia, Ian Bailey, Chase King, uh, Last year, or you have Flo, a bunch of those guys, Dash, Layton Berry, trying to build off of what they had and keep that going so we can keep sustaining it. you see any kind of identity with this team at this point? What stands out about this group that you guys have? Um, I'll say our identity is just trying to be adaptable. You know, there's a lot of new people and people are shifting around. It's uh, definitely not how it was the past two years where we had a lot of people coming back and you kind of knew what the, what the what everything was going to look like but now people are having to be adaptable and change on a daily to whatever the team needs how do you approach that challenge individually knowing that there's spots in the lineup available and competing for that um i like being in the position i have uh, being utility that's kind of what i've always had to do is try to be adaptable be able to play all the different positions so really it doesn't really change for me. I kind of, yeah, still be the same guy. 
as far as that goes. But uh, I'll say the challenge this year is now I'm going to go to upperclassmen, so trying to pass on that standard that the veterans from the years prior had to, to this team. So to keep sustaining that, uh, that growth in the program. Is there a level of competitiveness in the team with guys trying to find spots in the lineup, or how have you guys handled that? Part? Oh yeah, for sure. There's always competitiveness. That's what uh, I feel like Coach Hallmark would say. You want to build this program off competitiveness. So obviously we're trying to fight for spots, but at the same time, we're, we're still a team, we're still a family. So you fight for spots while you're, you're trying to up the next person. You're not trying to push them down. You're trying to build off of what they did. Oh, you, you went two for three today. All right, I'm gonna try to go through for four tomorrow. So just build upon build upon each other's successes, I'd say. What do you, what do you uh, tell the, the freshman, Coach Hallmark tells us the freshman is, uh, is gonna start uh, Friday night, uh, Orlowski, uh, what do you what do you tell a, a guy like that uh, he's going to get the ball on, on opening night? Uh? I mean, to him, I would just say be confident in yourself. Like, uh, obviously, coach and all of us see in in, uh, in you that you're capable. So, don't try and do anything extra. Like, you're you're good enough as you are. Don't don't try and manufacture anything different. Like, just go out there and be be yourself. What is he all about? He's uh, I would say. He's more of like a quiet guy, but you can tell he has an inner fire. So he might not get off the mound and like yell at you and, and tell you about it, but you know that inside he he's trying to get you out and he's he's trying to uh, he's trying to fight. So um, appreciate it. Yeah. The excitement level headed into opening weekend. Yeah, I think we're all really excited. Um, you know, we're all ready to play another team. I think after inner squad for the last uh, four months, uh, everyone's excited to. You know, uh, finally get to play somebody else. Um, I think I think we can't wait to play four games this weekend. It'll be super exciting. What are the expectations of this program heading into the season? Oh, I mean to just build off what we've done the last two seasons. Um, uh, I know I wasn't here two years ago, uh, but I think obviously to win a conference championship and to go uh, play in a in a regional game are certainly uh, expectations. I think we'd love to get to the forty win mark uh, this season. I know we've come close. Uh, the previous two years, I think it's a very uh, realistic goal for us uh, to try to achieve this season. But is this the is this the year that those benchmarks happen? Uh, I think so. I think we have a very talented team. Uh, I know we have a lot of new guys, uh, but uh, I think some fresh faces can bring uh, you know uh, some success to the program. Um, and yeah, I mean we've competed hard all fall. Um, great pitching, great hitting, great defense. Uh, I think we could certainly put something together this season. Yeah, I know people around here are excited about the exit uh, velocity when you, when you square up the ball. I think people get pretty excited about that. How, how do you feel like you're doing in terms of uh, just identifying the, pitch, the good pitches to hit and then laying off the bad pitches? How are you doing with that right now? Yeah, I think uh, Coach Hallmark and Coach Aguayo really put me in a position uh, to succeed uh, this offseason. Uh, just help me kind of figure out what my approach needs to be and, and how I can uh, strikes and taking balls. Uh, I think that's really paid off uh, this fall and heading into this spring. Um, you know, just from teamwork, all the drills they've had me doing uh, to high velocity on the machine, uh, it's all really paid off. And I've really seen a lot of success uh, from their coaching. What you do this summer? Where'd you go? Uh, I really uh, stayed at home. I played a little bit just a smaller league in Houston, uh, but I spent, you know, six days a week uh my dad's training facility, um, you know, did the drills that, that they had me working on here uh, last fall and last spring, and uh, I really took the heart and wanted to get bigger, stronger, and faster, and I've really seen it pay off uh, this fall. So just a lot of work in the cage and in the weight room. Yes, sir. What are your uh, thoughts on your improved ball field this year? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Uh, I think I think the improvements are great. Uh, you know, I, I think we'll see some more fans at the ballpark this year. Um, we love the support, uh, and, and we love the way that the new new stadium looks. I think it's fantastic. How gratifying was that for y'all last year? Uh, you know, the, towards the end of the year, you were getting people they were hanging off the, the fences out here on a couple of games, over a thousand people, and you know there was a lot of excitement. How gratifying was that that y'all were able to kind of build that uh, reputation a little bit among the local fans? Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, that's why you play. Uh, you love to have that kind of excitement around the ballpark. Uh, you get a little more adrenaline. Uh, the games just feel like they mean a little bit more. Uh, and it was just a fantastic uh, atmosphere at the bird bath here, uh, especially towards the end of the season last year. 
James, you're someone that, I'll, I'll, aside from being a great ball player, you love, you're a fan of the sport as well. You've been to Omaha a few times. You, you do a little podcasting yourself here and there. What is it about the game of baseball that, that you've taken a liking as a fan so much? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think ever since I've grown up, baseball's really been the only sport I've played uh, just my whole life. Uh, and I really love it. I love going to games. I love watching. Uh, I try and watch as many games uh, throughout the season as I can. I'm a big Yankees fan, uh, being from New York. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've just I've always been fascinated by the sport. Uh, I love all the intricacies uh, and how complex the game can be if you really dive uh, deeply into it. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's why I love baseball so much. How is that playing the clubhouse or being a Yankees fan? Yeah, I, mean, I know most of the guys around here are Astros fans. Uh, there's always a little a little chirping. The Yankees haven't had a lot of success in the past past few years, um, so. Certainly, certainly catch some flack for that, um, but I still have their back uh, heading into this season. James, where do you see yourself fitting in this year? Uh, I, I'll play wherever Coach Hallmark, Coach Aguayo, and Coach Bowie need me to play. Um, you know, I just want to help this team win in any way possible. Um, so, wherever they think uh, I fit in best is, is where I'm happy to play, and uh, I'm happy to do whatever they ask me. What's the process been like for you and a lot of the guys trying to find those roles with a lot of spots open? Yeah, I mean, you know, just inter-squatting uh, week, week in and week out, you know, playing different positions, uh, seeing, you know, where the defense fits best uh, for nine guys on the field. Uh, I think we have a lot of guys who are very talented and can hit uh, for a lot of power and a lot of average. Um, but just about finding nine guys 